what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A juror in Bill Cosby's sexual assault trial said that it was Bill Cosby's own words that sealed his fate and led to his conviction. Harrison Snyder is his name. He was one of the 12 jurors who found Bill Cosby guilty of sexually assaulting Andrea Constant in a trial last week. This dude is 22 years old. He's the youngest juror who served. He said that he was referring to Bill Cosby's remarks he made in a 2005 deposition in which he admitted to giving the women quaaludes. He said, I think it was his deposition. Really, Mr. Cosby admitted to giving these quaaludes to women, young women, in order to have sex with them. He told this to ABC, Good Morning America. Now listen here, man. You know the dude lying, right? The dude said he didn't know much about Bill Cosby. That's the first lie. The second lie is he said he had never heard of the Me Too movement. The third lie he told is when he said he went into the deliberations without knowing which way he would go. Man, you know straight off the bat this was a witch hunt. They was going in for the kill, man. Now all of these previous cases that Cosby had they couldn't get them on them. They said that the statute of limitations had ran out. But on this one, which was pretty weak, I mean, this happened, what, 14 years ago? What is this, 2000, 2004? So this happened like in 2004, right? It's allegedly. So they can go back, they have no evidence it's his word against her word, right? Now, they had a lot riding on this. Keep in mind, she had already got a check, and the check cleared for $3.4 million. He, he stroked the check. Normally, if you take the money, you don't come back 10 years and try to put somebody in jail. So you know the powers that be was working. The system was working. I'm sure that she did have that behind her. Somebody knocked on her door and said, hey, we need you. We need you for this case. If we don't get him with you, you're the only one who can bring him down. All of these other cases are dead. We can't do nothing with him. We need you to help us bring him down. And the basketball player went in on Cosby. And she played the victim. Because I'm going to tell you, the more and more I think about this case, the hotter I actually get, man. Because I'm thinking about all of these white dudes, a parade of white dudes, who've been getting popped up on these charges, and not one of them has been criminally charged. Not to my recollection. If I'm wrong, correct me. But what's up with Weinstein and Laura and what's his name, Spacey? What's up with all of these dudes? None of these dudes been called out. None of these dudes have had criminal charges pressed on them. Then they're trying to go after R. Kelly. Man, whatever you may think of R. Kelly, please, people, don't get it twisted. These people is not concerned about justice. They're concerned about knocking off another black man, another rich black man. The reason why Bill Cosby is in jail is because he's famous and he's rich and he's black. That's why he, well, he's not in jail, but that's why they're trying to put him in jail because he's black and he's famous and he's rich and he pissed somebody off. I don't know who he pissed off, but he went after, he pissed somebody off. And maybe y'all can enlighten me on that too. I heard a few uh, theories out there 
about uh, people he may have pissed off, but man, he was talking about some type of uh, land deal and some other things about NBC and whatever, but man, now don't get it twisted. I'm not trying to defend Bill Cosby. That's not what this video is about. I'm simply saying that there is a double standard that exists. And the only reason why Bill Cosby is in the position that he's in right now, being as rich and famous as he is, is not because of what he's allegedly done. It is because of his skin color and the fact that he is a multimillionaire. He's loaded. And like I say, I do believe he pissed somebody off. And so they want to bring him down. That's it, simply plain. And I'm going to tell you something else. What happens over the next few months is going to tell me a whole lot about the Me Too movement. Because they're going after R. Kelly now. And you can say what you want about R. Kelly. But hey, man, fair is fair, man. If you're going to go after R. Kelly, you're going to go after Bill Cosby, bring him down. Man, get all them other dudes, man, and put them on that bus, too, and bring them down, too. And go after them with the same amount of energy and enthusiasm as you're going after R. Kelly and as you went after Bill Cosby. And at the end of the day, after you get all those other dudes rounded up, when you do that head count, make sure that Trump is on that bus. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.